started off, it was the struggle. I just remember my mom being single parent, working. We lived in like basements and attics. A little dark, a little grim. I moved all over Jersey, but then I spent the most of my childhood in Bridgewater. A lot of earth tones in Jersey. A lot of grass, trees, animals, so like browns and greens. I knew I really liked to sing. And one day this teacher, Miss Angie, heard me singing. She was like, you. Yeah. You got a good voice. And then I believed it. <laughs> You're my star. Before I went to LA, I used to hear about it a lot. Frank Ocean's music, the beach, like warm sand, palm trees. There was a little orange tree in front of the house. And I had a friend, Ron Gilmore, who lived there. And he let me sleep on his couch. I associated that house with like creative freedom. I wasn't making a lot of money, but it didn't feel like I needed money. I was living my dream. You know, there were people who produced, there were people who mixed and mastered, there's people who did visuals. Everything was created within the community. It was like an exchange of energies. We all brought something unique to the table. You know, nothing is possible by yourself, spiritually and career-wise, emotionally. Find your outlet. Stick to your path and grow along the way.